Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're playing on Sprout Farm again and we're exploring the Ridgeside Village mod again, of course. Let's start by watering our crops. Thank you all so much for all the love on the last episode. I was so nervous to be playing without face cam, to record without face cam, but oh my goodness, y'all have been so overwhelmingly nice. I am so happy. Today we're probably gonna be unlocking the mines and the community center so we can actually start to make money and start to work on bundles and everything. I also obviously want to explore and I do want to meet everyone today. We've got 45 out of 64. I want to make sure we meet everyone. Might be a good idea to start by checking who we've got left to meet so we can look out for them. We've still got Oh my gosh, a lot of people. These are all new people. So I don't know their names at all. There are so many people to meet. We've obviously got Jazz and the Wizard and Sebastian and Mario as well. We've got quite a few vanilla characters. We've got to get moving with that. What should we do today though? Maybe we should open our geodes and I don't know, the fourth. What would be good to do today? I guess we could fish today. Maybe that would be a good idea. I also want to open these geodes perhaps. But yeah, happy new year everyone. Technically the last part was recorded last year so I didn't realize I was gonna post it in the new year. So this is my first video I'm recording of 2022. I'm kind of looking for horseradishes right now but I don't see any. Oh I might go and check for spring onions as well whilst we're here for some energy because I haven't bought any food. <laughs> There's a horseradish and a dandelion, perfect. We can make some more spring seeds because they sell for a lot. We learned that in the last part for sure. So this is my first video of the year. I'm really excited for YouTube this year. I've got a lot of plans and I'm kind of working with a rough schedule in my mind. I'm not going to post it anywhere just because I am someone who is entirely terrified of schedules. The only thing I have as a regular schedule is my Twitch and if you watch my Twitch you know how inconsistent I can be with my schedule at times. I just don't work well with schedules. This was quite a good forage. We got 11 spring onions, a couple horseradishes. Is there anything else we can find? Enough horseradish down here. Okay, we're sorted for horseradishes. Maybe I should just do a day of foraging and a little bit of fishing in the mountain lake. But yeah, I've got big plans for YouTube. I definitely want to expand my content on here. That is one of my biggest goals for the year. I haven't really set myself any resolutions, just kind of ideas that excite me and make me feel inspired and such. Have you lot set yourself any resolutions? Let me know in the comments if you have set yourself any resolutions. I'd love to know what they are. One thing I really do want to try and get into this year is speed running Stardew Valley. It makes me a little bit scared to say. I have also been wanting to do some challenge runs too. Oh, we got an anchor. Can donate that. Here's a person. I think we've met them already though. Who are they? It's Carmen. Willie recently said to Blair that she is so good. He even said that she will make a good student assistant. Oh, that's cute. But yeah, I would love to get into speedrunning Stardew. I just think it'd be a really fun game to get to know in that way. I've never speedrun any game. I honestly don't think I'll be very good at it. I get very easily overwhelmed by things, so I don't think I'll be so good at it, but I would love to try. I love Stardew. It's probably my favorite game, if you can't tell from my channel. I absolutely adore this game, and I think what better game to speedrun? Oh, whilst I'm here, I should probably give this anchor as well. Okay, I'm gonna put the anchor down here. I always do my museum in terms of colors, so I can never put two different color things next to each other. It just doesn't feel right. I always have to set it out color coordinated. I am a creature of habit in this game and I'm trying to break out of that a little bit with this playthrough. Definitely don't want to be doing the same thing every time, you know? Hi Penny! Can she see me from here? Apparently not. Hi Alex! It's 1pm already. How is it so late? Let's see what we have here. Okay, Willy wants a largemouth bass. I'm going to accept that because we are going to do a little bit of fishing. Is Jarek going back to his shop? I wonder if he is. I'd really love to go to his shop and see if he's got any new seeds. We did get new forageables, so I don't know. Maybe there are new seeds. <gasps> You're new. I don't think I've said hello to you yet. Wait, who are you? Alyssa? I don't think we've met her in this playthrough yet. She's so cute. I love her. Who are you again? Oh, okay. Rude. Nice to meet you, fellow farmer. Oh, she's also a farmer. Love that. Got something in common already. Should I go to Jarek's farm? I might dump these things back home. Oh, I didn't even open the geodes. Oh my gosh. My brain's not with it today, I swear. <laughs> we'll warm up, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna leave these in here. And should I just go fishing in the new area? Or I really wanna try and go to Jarek's farm and go to his shop, but I don't even know when he mans the shop. Also, y'all in the comments seem to really like the idea of me romancing Floor. She seems so cute. She seems really sweet and shy. I, um, 
You're Lil, correct? I'm sorry, I'm not good with names. I think she seems like a really cute candidate for marriage, maybe? We'll have to see though. I still kind of want to grow my friendship with a lot of them first. I'm going to be the shop in the valley one day. Student overtakes master, you know? Okay. <laughs> well, at least go to your shop then. Let me buy something, please. But yeah, I feel like I kind of want to get to know a couple more of them first before I really set my heart on anyone. And we'll see who we kind of gel with, maybe. But so far, a lot of you have been liking the idea of Floor. Oh, Kenneth. I don't think I've met Kenneth yet. I heard their name before, but I don't think we've met them yet. Hey, you're on the new farmer, right? Lenny said you'd likely stop by. Nice to meet you. I'm Kenneth, Richside Village's own electrician. He looks so cool. I really like him. I hope you're doing well. Anyone else to meet? Okay, we've met Olga before. I saw Jazz and Vincent playing in the town earlier. They seemed like they were having fun. Oh, does he want to join in? You should go join in. Okay, I'm still checking bins. It really does seem like this is my favourite pastime. <laughs> oh my gosh, and you might find an amethyst, so it's definitely worth it. <laughs> I love how I was like, I'm gonna fish and I'm gonna take geodes and I haven't done either of the things I set out to do this morning. We're now just following Jerick to see if he goes to his shop because I really want to see what he sells. Wait, do I know you yet? I'm still trying to meet people as well. Shiro. Yeah, I've definitely met Shiro. I need to find everyone. Maybe I should just spend a lot of time in Ridgeside so I can find everyone. Ezekiel. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Why is he so rude? Oh, the new farmer? Well, that's good. I'm Ezekiel. Nice to meet you. I suppose? Excuse me? Why must you sass me in this way? Oh, and, um, hi Kiara. <laughs> this place probably seems quiet compared to the city, but we have our own excitement. Just gotta know where to look for it. Is she saying that she could be my excitement? <laughs> okay, I'm blushing. <laughs> I like her a lot. She makes me a little bit nervous, but like in a good way, you know? Come on, I have followed you all the way back to your house. You gotta have something good for me to buy, right? And he just went to his crop field instead. Oh, that is so annoying. So can I not buy something from you? I've like followed you all the way here. For what? Next time, but when? When is this open? Does it not say anywhere? Blooming Hill Farm. Farm supplies available inside. Okay, but they're not, clearly. It seems like the shop is open from 9am till 4pm, but it's closed Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. Okay, and we're a Thursday. Okay, we'll have to come back tomorrow then. That was a wasted trip over here then. We shouldn't have followed him all the way. But at least we can meet some people whilst we're here. Anton should stop sulking and get back on his job. Wait, what? Who's that? <gasps> Shut up. There's a turtle. I bought everything. I found a tur- Is it a turtle or a tortoise? I don't know the difference, but look at it. Excuse me? Whose is this? <gasps> oh my goodness. Does it do anything? Just moves around? Are you kidding me? Look how cute it is. It just sits here and burps all day. Well, I love that for it. I love that for it. <laughs> what did the bee say to the other bee? Honey, I'm home. Oh my goodness. We even get dad jokes in this mod. Whose house is this? I'm just going into people's houses now. This is probably not a good idea. We haven't met you yet, I don't think. Freddy, hello there, stranger. He seems really sweet. You must be the new farmer everyone's been talking about. Nice to meet you, my name is Freddy. I live here in Ridgeside with my wife Lola. Come by sometime for a chat, won't you? He seems lovely. Let's take this forageable from his farm. There's loads of animals down here. And there's a farmhouse, it seems, down here too. Maybe someone lives here. Oh my gosh, this farm is amazing. Hello? Look at all these animals. Wow, this is so cute. I need to come back here in the daylight and properly appreciate all of this. Okay, we should really head home. How do we get home? Oh wow, this is big. And the dilapidated car as well. I'm so intrigued. I really want to try fishing here. Perhaps we should do a spot of fishing and see if there's any new fish here. We've wasted all day again. And <laughs> I didn't get anything to show for it. I mean, I got an amethyst, but that's about it. Hmm, seems like a different pattern. What is it? Oh, <gasps> it's a rich side bass. Oh my gosh, there is new fish. That's so exciting. I also wonder if this is on the collections tab and trash. Let me check quickly if it is in the collections tab. It is in the collections tab. So there might be a, a, quite a few. This looks new. This looks like a crab or something. So there looks like there is quite a few new fish. It's getting really late. I'm a bit worried. This looks like it's the same pattern, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the same pattern, same fish. Okay. Two silver quality ridgeside bass. Let's head home, shall we? What's this place? Oh my goodness. How have I not discovered this before? We need to come back here tomorrow. How do I get home though? That's the only problem. Oh my gosh, it's getting late. I am gonna pass out here.
I can't help myself but check the bins. And it's so worth it. I got topaz as well. We got quite a few things from foraging and bins. Let's sell what we can. I guess only one Ridgeside bass because everything else we need to donate and such. So we should probably keep that for now. Oh, I also can make some mixed seeds. Let me quickly make some. And they sell for like 350 or something, don't they? So we'll have a grand tomorrow at least. So that's pretty good. I wonder how much that fish sells for. Probably not a lot. It seemed like a very easy fish to catch. So I don't think it's a good selling one, unfortunately. First day complete. We did like nothing at all, but that's okay. We made 4,000. No, we did not. <laughs> we made 437 gold. So hopefully we can get the mines open today, I think. Also, it's Alyssa's birthday and there's rain tomorrow. And the merchant's here. Okay, we need to find something to give to Alyssa. What does she like? She's a farmer, so she might like a leek. I don't know if that's a very safe option. Maybe we should give her a ridge cherry. I'm gonna give her a ridge cherry. I hope she likes it. First things first though, I should water. I'm wondering if we should go mining today as well. Oh, oh my gosh, it's time. I didn't ask for any names. Oh no. What shall we call it? You see this cat here? I do. Look how cute they look. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, the poor little thing. We'll take it. Oh, also our parsnips are ready. I think it likes this place. Don't you think this farm could use a cat? I definitely do. Yes, of course we'll adopt it. What should we call it though? I'm just gonna let my community decide, I think. Okay, so I asked my community and of course I got a lot of cursed names, but one name that I thought was quite cute was Shadow. So we're gonna go for Shadow for our little kitty. Yay! <laughs> so cute. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at it, curled up near the fire. <laughs> my heart. Let's harvest our parsnips. And then we should probably just buy a bunch more because we need gold quality parsnips. I'll water all the potatoes. We didn't get a singular gold quality parsnip, by the way, so that's incredibly disappointing. But we did get 100 gold for that, which is good. And we've now got to build a coop. And we got to craft a scarecrow too, which we should do soon. Oh, and we still need to get a largemouth bass, but I doubt we're going to get that in time, to be honest. We need to take a present to Alyssa. We need to go to the merchant. And I'd really love to go to the shop today as well. Obviously, it would be really ideal if we could get to the mines, but I doubt we'll be able to. Maybe I should pack for the mines just in case. I haven't gone for the grey kitty in such a long time and I've been missing out. It's so cute. Okay, I'm going to bring things for the mines just in case. And I'm going to... I think I'm going to sell all the parsnips except one for the community center. So we'll bring those with us to sell at Pierre's. And we should hopefully trigger the community center cutscene as well today. Okay, does she have anything good for us? She has poppy seeds, which we did need a poppy. But we can't plant that until the summer anyway, and then we'll get it from the shop. So that's fine. Is there anything else? Maybe we should get a rare seed. We don't really have enough money. I think we'll probably leave it. She doesn't have anything that's screaming at me. I mean, a coconut could be good it'll be a while until we get to the desert but I think it's fine yeah I don't think we need any of these things right off to Pierre's now oh and we got the cutscene perfect you know I've never seen you here before what's your name oh hello Lil I'm Blair your future wife what huh um what <laughs> That is very forward. Just kidding. <laughs> Who makes jokes like that when you just meet someone? <laughs> is she romanceable? She's not even romanceable. Why did she say that? Okay, let's sell these parsnips. I guess we just buy 15 parsnips again. Uh, we do need a bean, actually. I'll grab a bean and then... 14 parsnips, I suppose. I would love to get the backpack upgrade as well soon. I need to check the bins quickly. <gasps> and we got a baguette. Heck yeah. We got some foods. Let me quickly check the community center just now since we're here. And then we'll pop off to Richside, I think. And then maybe after we could do mines. I need to put a chest outside the mines as well. So I will need wood for that. Let's go and investigate the rat problem. Oh, what could this possibly mean? Okay, off to Richside now. Or should I plant these first? I probably should. Oh, hi, Isabel. Excuse me, you're in my way. I'm really not in the mood to talk. Why has she become a new Haley for me? I don't know why. <laughs> hey, if you ever see my cousin Caroline in town, tell her I say hi. Why don't you tell her yourself, but... Okay, let's plant our vegetables. Oh my gosh, look at them lurk in there. <laughs> I need to figure out where Alyssa is actually first. So maybe she'll be outside Nightingale Orchard. I need to check where that is on the map. Oh! Hang on, that's where we were yesterday, at Nightingale Orchard, that big beautiful farmhouse. So we'll have to head down there. Okay, perfect, we can go down there. I wanted to look at that place when it was light out as well because it looked so pretty. And we have the perfect excuse now, we can go and see Alyssa and give her her birthday present and then 
snoop around their farm and get inspo for our farm. Look at all the blossom, it looks so cute. I think it was like really down south. Is there a map for here? Was it the Leiden's residence? No. Oh, it's here, right in the corner. Nightingale Orchard. Okay, we're all the way here. But Alyssa's here. Okay, we should run into her then, right? There she is. Oh my gosh, okay. Hello, a birthday gift? That's very kind of you, I love it. Got a whole heart with her now. That must have been a neutral one. Otherwise we get two hearts, I think, if it's a loved one. Good day to you, Lil. It's a wonderful day today, isn't it? Do you take care now? I'm finding so many horseradishes. I still want to go down to that farm, I think. Just want to have a snoop around and then we'll head to the mines if we have time. Are we close to meeting everyone yet? 50 out of 64, there's still 14 whole people. I do kind of feel like most of those might be vanilla characters because I've kind of been neglecting the vanilla characters right now. And we want to check the farm shop as well. So let's go do that whilst we're here. Ooh, okay, it looks like, yeah. Okay, it is just... <gasps> Oh my gosh, but they're so cheap. What? Hang on, are they way cheaper? How much are they usually costing? They're cheaper here. I should have bought them here, but you can only buy six, it seems. Maybe six a day. That's super odd. Why can you only buy six a day? Maybe he doesn't have as much stock. Should I buy some? I don't think you can get garlic seeds yet, can I? I'm gonna buy all six garlic seeds just because why not? I don't know, I was not expecting that. I was kind of expecting new seeds. I'm a little bit disappointed in that, but equally it is a mod and I don't know why I'm expecting so much from it. Like, that's so rude. Like, it literally gave me tort. So any mod that gives me torts, I've got to be happy with. Now he's hissing at me. Well, at least he stopped burping in my face. Now he's just hissing at me. I don't know which one's better, to be honest. Right, I want to go and explore this farm. I wonder if this farm also sells things or if it's just Jerick's farm that sells. I don't know. There's a lot I need to explore here. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I mean, the colours are questionable. Like, that's a new tree, isn't it? I've never seen this tree before. Is that a rich side apple? You want to hug this tree, but you're afraid people will judge you. <laughs> what? And also, what is happening here? This looks a little bit sus. I ain't afraid of being judged for hugging a tree. It looks like you can buy from here. It's closed. Oh my goodness, why can't they just tell me their opening times? Jeez. Oh, I just sat down. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got another bream though. Heck yeah. At this rate, I won't even need to do any fishing to complete the community center fish bundle. I can just look through bins. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Wow, look at this orchard. How does it look this beautiful? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's super cool. I wish we could harvest from their stuff, but I guess it makes sense that I can't. Like, you wouldn't just go into someone's farm and just take stuff. Like, you'd go through their bins, obviously, but you wouldn't actually just take things from their trees. That would be out of order. Just want to check if there's anyone else I could meet in here. Don't mind me. Oh my gosh, their house is so cute, though. Okay, I think I'm going to head back. It's a little bit late to go to the mines, probably. Oh, I can talk to Maddie again. How's Maddie doing? Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> Please stop following me. You're giving me a headache for crying out loud. I mean, I wouldn't say I've been following you, but okay. It's very aggressive. Um, really what's the need? I mean, you could have just said like, please leave me alone or something like that. But okay, um, sorry that you've got a headache. Uh, <laughs> I guess we won't be talking to her too much. <gasps> what is that? Mountain arugula? <gasps> It gives you luck? Oh my goodness, a cool weather crop found in the mountain ridges. According to the locals, it gives a temporary boost in luck. We can have that when we go mining maybe. Oh, there's another one as well. Maybe we'll go mining tomorrow then. What I'd quite like to do now then is to make a little chest for when we do go mining so we can have it at the top. Hey Kenneth, I'm hungry. Okay, I wonder what's on Pika's menu today. Something good probably. Hi Floor, let's talk to Floor quickly. Oh hi. Since y'all kind of wanted me to romance her, I'm going to give her a dandelion. I like this. Thank you. Oh, she's so sweet. She does seem like the best candidate right now for marriage. I'm just wondering if there's anyone we haven't met who we could quickly see. I don't think I've been to the log cabin, so maybe I should go there quickly. Oh, wait, does Mr. Ragua live with Maddie? Oh, do you know what? If I lived with Mr. Ragua, I'd probably feel really miserable. So maybe that's why she does. Maybe we need to explore that a little bit more. But also I want to respect her if she's like set the boundary that she doesn't want me to be friends with her. I kind of want to respect that. But maybe she just needs a friend if she's living with Mr. Ragua because he was really nasty, right? Okay, I'm going to quickly go to the log cabin hotel and see if there's anyone in there we can quickly meet. We haven't met you yet. Hello. 
It's Richard. Good to meet you, young lady. Haven't seen you around these parts before. Welcome to the valley, Lil. I'm Richard, the owner of the humble log cabin hotel. Can we stay here then? I kind of want to try. Am I allowed to sleep here? Oh my god, I can rent a room. Should I do it? I'm going to rent a room. My room is at the second floor, at the bottom leftmost part of the floor. Enjoy your stay. Are you kidding me? That is so cool. I actually like working on Fridays. It makes the weekend more special. Okay, I need to meet some people whilst I'm here overnight. Gotta make use of this time. I guess a lot of people will be at Pika's maybe. This is the popular spot, right? Oh my gosh, she looks so cute right now. Faye, welcome to Pika's. Would you like to start off with a drink or an appetizer? Can I buy things? Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness, I can buy recipes. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? This is amazing. Look at all the... Oh, I can't believe this. This is amazing. Should we buy the iced tea recipe? Let's do it. A plum cot, mountain plum cot. Buying it. Purchased it. I'm wasting all my money today. This is great. Oh, look at what else we can buy. A zesty tuna. We can buy ice cream. We can also buy pepper poppers here too, which is super handy. I love this. Let's go talk to Lenny quickly. Hello again. Didn't scare you off with that little tour, did I? Glad to see you again. Make sure you visit often. I will. Oh my gosh, we're staying the night, Lenny. Don't you worry about it. Try to squeeze breaks into my schedule. A quick sip of soda and a bite from a sandwich is enough. Man, Ian wants to work again today. We just did that. Sean, you gotta keep it down. Ian stood right next to you. <laughs> he has like no awareness, clearly. Will he see me from there? <gasps> he didn't. And I got a largemouth bass. Oh, I could have given that to Willie. Oh well, it's too late. Why is there a chicken out here? And we got another largemouth bass. Now it's just taunting me. Let's go up this way. I got a ridgeside monk shirt. What? Is that a flower? It calms even the crankiest of men. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh my god, look at all the forageables I'm getting. This is so exciting. I'm having a really grand time right now. There's also a way up here, but it's blocked right now. So something to unlock up there, I guess. What's this? Here lies Buddy. What? Your time was too short. What the heck? There's so much to uncover here, isn't there? Got another bridge here. Got a ridgeside cherry, but I don't think I can pick it up, unfortunately. The statue is spooky. You'd rather not touch it. Why is everything so spooky here? It's locked. What is that? Hello? Geo, I must fulfill my promise. What is your promise? That's so ominous. And why is this a Janimo hut? Someone seems to be living inside this grassy hut. It seems a little small for a human though. So I did see a little bit of this back when I did my expanded series, but it wasn't updated like all of this. I think this is all from the update. This is so cool. There's so much mystery in this town. I love that. I'm fully here for all this mystery. I should probably get back to the hotel though. Where am I? I'm getting a little bit lost and it's very dark and I'm a bit scared. <laughs> At least we have the night here. We can just get back to the hotel quickly, hopefully. Okay, I think it was this way. Yes, it looks like it was this way. Almost back to the hotel now. Uh-huh. But this is the log cabin. <gasps> I'm locked out. It shuts at midnight, but like, I'm locked out. I booked a night here. It took my money and everything. I can't get back in. <laughs> oh, I can. Oh my gosh, that scared me. It definitely said I couldn't get in for a hot sec, but at least we're in now. My room is at the bottom left most part of the floor. <gasps> can I meet people here? Oh no, we can't interact with these people. Who are you? Can't interact with them. This is my room for the night. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. We leveled up in farming as well. Okay, we need to craft our scarecrow. We leveled up in foraging too. We're now level two foraging. And we can make that survival burger, which someone wanted as a quest, I think. And it's raining today, so we don't have to worry about our crops. Floor lives there. Who's that? Is that Philip? So people are living in the hotel right now. I think I'll head back to home now because I really do want to go to the mines. Oh, hang on. It's a bad luck day. <laughs> I didn't see that. Maybe we shouldn't do mining. Maybe we do fishing today and then we'll do mining tomorrow. Also, I want to chop some wood today too. So we can do that now. Oh, and we need to visit the wizard as well today. Got to make sure to do that. Let me empty my inventory. We already need a new chest. We have no space. Let's plant these garlic seeds and we'll plant some here. Okay, cute. I want to get enough wood. I need my axe. Want to make some more chests and also some more pathing and say hello to my cat too. We need our axe. 
And I should also open this mail, shouldn't I? Okay, that's just Robin's mail. That was all the mail we had. Oh, I should get my scythe as well. I should really do that. So much back and forth. <laughs> Okay, clearing farm day today. I would fish, but I don't really feel like fishing right now. I want to get enough wood as well for a chest in the mines. Oh, and I should really craft a scarecrow as well whilst I think about it. We don't want crows getting to any of our crops. We need 50 wood, one coal, and fibre. Do we have coal? We do. Okay, 50 wood, fibre, and coal. Okay, we just need fibre now. 20 fibre is quite a lot, to be fair. Okay, we got it. And we can make a scarecrow, heck yeah. Just used all the rest of my wood as well to make another one of these to go around there. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what this layout has become. I think this layout may have gotten a little bit ridiculous, perhaps. <laughs> but I'd also quite like to bring it further down maybe as well. We can do five more mixed seeds here. Right, let's go and see the wizard. And then I need to get enough wood for my chest for the mines. That's the plan for today. I like these slow days in Stardew. It makes me just feel really peaceful, you know. And the rain days in Stardew are always the best too. Super, super cosy. Also, we could do a quick run to the community center after we've opened it from the wizard. Can drop off our first things. I think we can complete our first bundle maybe. Okay, we'll get high with the wizard and I'll skip these. All the vanilla cutscenes I'll probably skip to be honest, but for the rich side ones I won't of course. Oh, we got some more gold as well. Let me go and check if there's any more spring onions to be gotten. I think field snacks are also really handy early game for the mines. I hope we have a good luck day tomorrow. <gasps> so many spring onions, oh my goodness. I can't even pick them all up. What should I get rid of? Maybe the maple seeds. Let's head back up to our farm and drop some things off. We've also got a bunch of things to take to Gunther as well. Got some geodes to open at Clint's too. It's a Saturday, so maybe we should go to the saloon tonight and see if we can meet anyone there who we haven't met already. There's people like Haley that we haven't met, but she doesn't really go to the saloon, unfortunately. See, we need another chest just for here too. All right, let's see if we can get like 100 wood so we can make two chests, it seems. Okay, we have 82, so we're definitely gonna need at least one more tree. And we're exhausted again. This is not ideal. <laughs> okay, did we get enough wood? We got 103, okay, perfect. We can make two chests and we have like 13 energy, so this is great. But we can make everything we needed and I can dump everything we need for the farm in this one. And then this one can become like fishing and other things for now. Then for this, we can take everything we need for the community center out already. So we'll need one of each of these. And what else can we do? I think foraging will be open. So is there anything else we can get for foraging? I don't know what opens. Does the fish bundle open too? Potentially. Oh, we can take a mussel as well. Oh no, we need the parsnip. Okay, I think that's all the things we can donate right now. We're going to complete our first bundle. I'm excited. And we completed it. And we got 30 spring seeds, which is more things to plant. Great. Is that the pantry? I think it opens. And the fish tank, it does open. Okay, perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Night fish, we can do bream. Crab pot, we've got these two. Lake fish, we've got the largemouth and the carp ocean we've got tuna and what else is needed speciality oh yeah that'll take a while okay now let's go down to the saloon and meet everyone there oh mr agua wants a flounder do you know what screw mr agua he's so rude i don't want to do anything for him i'm gonna ignore him i think he might be the only one who i don't want a friendship although i probably should friendship him to see the backstory you know oh i can meet seb at least oh you just moved in right cool <laughs> Great. That's all he wanted to say. Right, how are we doing with our friendships? 52 out of 64. Made it to the weekend. Philip is so sweet. How is Shane? This weather makes me thirsty. Willy. I need a little warm me up to get ready for another cold night on the ocean. Got Harvey. I don't know where we're going to find them. I don't know who any of these people are. Okay. We still got Jazz and the wizard, but we met the wizard. Oh my gosh, we didn't actually say hello to him, so it doesn't count. That is super annoying. We got Haley and Abigail. Okay, we still got quite a few vanilla characters and a couple from Ridgeside. This is taking a long time. To be fair, there are 64 characters, so kind of valid that it's taking a long time. Right, let's get a nice early night so we can go to the mines tomorrow, perhaps. If we sold these, would we get enough for the backpack upgrade? Because I would quite like that. We can also craft some more spring seeds. Oh, we wanted to bring this with us as well to increase our luck. Look how cozy this looks. This is just cozy vibes right here. The little kitty next to the fire it makes my heart warm. How much did we make? Hopefully we made enough. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, we definitely made enough. Holy butts, those spring seeds really do make bank. Okay, we have a recipe. It's feeling lucky. It's Lewis's birthday and we've got the merchant in town. Okay, so we'll go and water and then we'll go down to the merchant and then we'll go over to Pierre's 
get that backpack upgrade and head our butts over to the mines and it's gonna be a very successful day, okay? I really wanna upgrade my axe as soon as possible because I wanna get rid of this stump. It's super annoying to me. Looks like our potatoes are gonna be ready in one day. And we should also start thinking about saving now for the 13th so we can buy strawberries. I haven't got anything to give Lewis for his birthday, but that's fine. He doesn't need anything, I don't think. Oh, we could get the puffer fish, the sunfish cave carrot but we'll get one of those pretty easily oh there's some good things a red mullet maybe okay she's got some good things but we don't have a ton of money and i kind of want to get the backpack upgrade so i'm thinking no to everything because we can get these things and they're really expensive it might take us a while but again the community center isn't our main concern so i'm gonna say no unfortunately she had some good things though <gasps> trash cookies we got trash cookies and 2000 all our money is gone still got a bunch of people left to meet i don't know if we're gonna get everyone met in this episode unfortunately did want to that was my goal for the episode it's kind of hard with everyone's schedules you know and if you want to try and do other things too especially when there's 60 bloody four people <laughs> okay let's see how the mines go give us our rusty sword and let us get into it we're gonna eat the mountain irregular and get the extra luck bonus i think oh we got a geode straight away i want to get as much copper as i can as well and we're on to level three already this looks like quite a good little collection we've got an earth crystal we got some copper i should destroy these crates as well if we've got good luck just more copper really and an amethyst heck yeah i'll take it i'll take that for sure what floor are we trying to reach i feel like 10 maybe oh can we get a crab from this that'd be very handy please give us a crab Gave us a cherry bomb and a ladder. Can't complain too much. I would have liked the crab though. Oh, our luck is already gone. That didn't last very long then. I don't even know how long that lasted. Oh, our energy is very low too. Oh, we got the ladder already. Yay, we made it to level 10 then. This is pretty good. Let's see what we got. We got some boots. Heck yeah. Let's dump our stuff up the top and maybe go to level 15 or try to at least. We're feeling exhausted. I don't think we have enough food to get down, to be honest. We'd have to get very lucky with monster drops. But we could at least just get a little bit of extra copper on this floor, you know. Oh my gosh, there's two. They've got to give us one, right? Okay, that gave us a cherry bomb. Again, pretty handy, but I do want a crab. And it gave us nothing. Okay, perfect. That's just what I wanted, clearly. Haven't had any freebies yet. Oh, I feel like this floor is always horrible. I'll try and get in the ladder on this one. Is it going to make me clear the whole floor? Please no. Oh, I got the ladder. Okay, we just need one more floor, but this floor is evil and we now have no cherry bombs and very little energy. So we'll have to see. Oh, look at that nice bit of copper right there. Okay, no monster drop. Oh my gosh, but the ladder's there. Okay, I'm going to get this copper. Oh my gosh, that was so lucky. Okay, get this copper down to 15. I'm done for the night. I ain't pushing it any further. I'm not pushing my luck. We made it to 15. That is so good. Do we have enough for a furnace? I don't don't know if we can craft a furnace yet actually okay let's take everything with us let's head home i was gonna use the minecarts we still can't do that <laughs> that was a good nice mine trip that was so smooth sailing oh we got a morale over here too love the forest farm for the random little mushrooms you find spawned everywhere it's great so much copper hopefully we can get a furnace going tomorrow oh we had the owl noise. Does that mean we get the owl statue? I think it does, right? And we leveled up in mining. Can we craft a furnace now then? Oh, it's another good luck day and it's going to be raining tomorrow. I think this will be our last day we play today, maybe. And I want to try and meet as many people as we can. So let's start by watering. Maybe we'll take some things to Gunther today as well. Take some of the geodes. We have seven geodes acquired already. What? So we'll take all of these. I think I can craft a furnace, right? No, still no furnace. Oh, is that when we crack open geode or something maybe? Do we need to do something with Clint for that? I think our potatoes might be harvestable as well. Oh, do we get the furnace now? I noticed you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. Yay, we're going to get the furnace blueprint. Thanks, Clint. Okay, I'm going to skip you now. Goodbye. Oh, wait, is it stone? Oh, I didn't realize it was stone. That's even better, actually, because coal is very valuable in this game, I feel. All right, let's put a furnace right near our bed, I think. Then we won't miss it in the morning. There we go. That's like speedrunner strats that I've learned from watching speedrunners play this game. <laughs> Always put your furnace next to your bed. Don't worry about the fire hazard or anything. We can harvest all these potatoes, which means we can get more seeds. Should probably get more parsnip seeds, I feel, because we need five gold star, right? Gotta save a potato and we can sell the rest. We'll go over to Gunther and Clint and then we'll try and meet as many people as we can. 
Let's go and meet the wizard first because that is someone on our list we need to do. And then we can go to Marnie's and meet Jazz and then Haley maybe after that. We'll just try and do a whole circuit and meet all the vanilla characters and then head over to Ridgeside and meet the rest. Hi wizard. Okay, she's in her room. That's kind of annoying. Okay, on to the next person. We can't stay dwelling on one person for too long. We've got to meet as many as we can. I don't think I've met Vincent yet either. Let me check. Who else haven't we met? Have we met Sam? We haven't met Sam or Vincent. We met Jody though. Okay, we can meet Vincent at least. Oh, I want to be like my big brother when I grow up. That's so wholesome. Sam's in his room. How annoying. <laughs> I think we've got to meet Elliot as well. We've got to meet Haley. Haley's definitely in her room. She's in her room until like midday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I was wrong. Full of surprises, Haley. This town is so small. It sucks. I have to drive like 20 miles to buy any decent clothes. Oh my gosh. Haven't you heard of shopping online? Have we met Hel- have we met Heliot? Oh my gosh, I just called him Heliot. <laughs> I know a few people who would agree with that statement, but I meant to say Elliot. No, okay, we need to meet Elliot and Maru. I should have bought my hoe. Why didn't I bring my hoe? Also, I should really open this up soon. Need 300 wood for that though. Elliot, where are you? Hi, Clint. Let's process geodes quickly. Ooh, that's new. Got some copper. More copper. One piece of stone. That's great. Thanks, Clint. Oh, thanks. Really upping it with the five pieces of stone now. And lastly, we got a Jagoite. Let's donate all these things. Oh, and we got another geode. Let's go back to Clint. <laughs> Hi, Clint. We're back. We found another geode. He's like, where did you find this? It stinks of the bin. Lil, do you have something to tell me? <laughs> and we got mudstone. So... It was just the mudstone that stunk. Trust me, Clint. We did not go siphling through the bins. Don't worry. Let's donate all these things. Um... Right, let's sell these to Pierre quickly as well. How did he see that? But you didn't. You had your back to me. Liar. Oh, Lorenzo wants a Jojo Cola. We might actually have one of those. <gasps> oh, why did you become a farmer? Um... Wanted to escape my own life? That's pretty much the reason I came here too. Hi Pierre, can I sell you horseradish, daffodil, and potatoes? <gasps> big monies, big monies. We've got whoever this is, we got you. Sam still, Jazz still, Maru and Elliot. Okay, where's Sam? He's probably like with Sebastian maybe? Where's Jazz? I just love animals, Miss Lil. Treat them kindly and we'll become friends, I'm sure. Also, not being funny, but why does this look like Emily has been stuffed into a box? That looks like Emily, right? That's not just me who thinks that. I don't know what Jazz is doing, but it's uh, a little bit sus, Jazz. I can't lie. Oh, Haley's here at least. Oh, but we've already met Haley. We'll go over to Ridgeside and see if we can meet anyone over there instead. Oh, and I didn't buy any more seeds. Maybe I should go back to Pierre's. I think I'm going to go for parsnip seeds again because I kind of want to get a gold star parsnips. So maybe I'll go for like eight parsnips and eight potatoes. Here's Olga again. I wish more of them just walked right in front of my house. This is so easy to see her every day. <laughs> I've seen Olga like 200 times already and like some of them I've never even seen. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, we've had this cutscene now. There's a kiwi fruit in front of you. It moved? I have had this cutscene before. Shoo! And it backflips and just disappears into thin air. I don't know what kind of kiwi fruit that was. What was that? Was that a Jonimo? What was it doing here? Guess we'll find out. Oh, we haven't met these ones. Okay, we need to go down here. Oh, this was the big fancy house that we saw in the dark. Oh my goodness, this place looks amazing. It's like a whole manor. Oh, you're someone we need to meet. Irene, hello there, good day to you. I'm giving her a posh voice just because I, I was gonna go in the bin in front of her. <laughs> I'm like, I'm giving her a posh voice and then just immediately goes to the bin. Oh, we got cheese from their bin though. Oh my gosh, we can literally donate that to the community center. What? What is this place? Aria? Uh, excuse me, can you move out of the way? You're so rude. Oh, I don't mean to be rude, but it's just that I'm in a hurry to- Oh, okay. Okay, that's kind of cute. Just in a hurry to get back to my book. I mean, you were still rude. I won't want to miss a minute of studying, you know? Okay, valid, Aria. Wow. Oh my gosh, I found my dream. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, what? It's this place. Maeve, roaming around, I see. You haven't got anything better to do, young farmer? Right, screw you. Have a great week, Miss Lil. Oh, he's nice. Look at this house. <gasps> Is this a pool? What? Can I go in it? Oh, 
I was so excited then. How is this house so massive? Someone's an artist who lives here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I still have this person left to me and then just vanilla characters. We have done pretty well. They also live here, I think. Oh my goodness, this place is massive. Are these also stairs? Oh, they are. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Is that a bath? Like, oh, this is wild. Louis. Maybe Louis is the other person we got to meet. Very annoyed that I can't meet Louis. Maybe if I just stand outside his room, he'll show up eventually because he'll come home. Okay, Arya's heading off to bed. So I'm assuming Louis would be too. So I'm just gonna leave it. I don't think we're gonna see Louis, unfortunately. I don't know where he is. This house is immense. It's beautiful. I can't believe we got cheese from their trash can. I am happy with that. <laughs> and we just got a bream. <laughs> Literally just keeps getting better. But yeah, we didn't unfortunately meet everyone who I wanted to. But in fairness, there are a lot of people. <laughs> um, and we got some other things down. We got to level 15 of the mines. That is pretty good. We stayed a night in the hotel. We also opened the community center, like we did some vanilla content too. So I think for the next goals, we'll probably try to save some money for strawberries, probably try and get a little bit deeper in the mines. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And hopefully next time we'll definitely meet everyone. I'll try and look up people's schedules a little bit more. Okay, let me sell the bream, but I'm definitely keeping the cheese because we can donate that. Oh my gosh, and my cat is on my bed. Oh, I should quickly plant these, shouldn't I? We almost have enough copper bars for a copper upgrade as well. We just need the money now. Okay, we made 45. We're not making a lot of money, but we're focused on other things, right? And it's raining when we wake up. And yeah, this is the state of the farm. We've got some more parsnips to harvest. On that note, I think I will wrap up. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>